Today we're gonna talk about another plugin update which is pulled down 8.5 for 3ds Max. This latest release elevates the tool's level of maturity with several usability improvements and a set of destruction features. Creating realistic cracks can be so tedious, especially with the small pieces and flying ones. This release offers you the ease of use when it comes to that, and you can now create as many cracks easier, which I think is great. In addition, the Shattery tool has got a new extent parameter that allows visually shrinking the shadow region, making it much easier to increase the density of fragments in any area of the model. But it doesn't stop there. It also got a new ability to exclude a part of the curve, and you can select the extent of the curve to be used for shattering simply by dragging the mouse as many times as you want, since one single curve is enough for all reshattering operations. You can also set the hardness and the breaking energy by visually setting the breakable clusters and choosing the start frame per cluster. Another feature of this tool that got significant updates is jagginess, which is the ability to add roughness to cut faces. Jagginess now affects only broken areas in simulations by default, and it is also getting lighter meshes for rendering or when exporting it to game engines, which is up to 70% fewer polygons while keeping the same rough look. There are also some dynamic features, like the double speed with PDI Fracture Solver. Thanks to that, the scenes involving up to thousands of fragments and dynamics now compute around twice as fast with the same stability as the previous version. In addition, the cracks are now more realistic, pulling out small fragments in borders of fracturing areas to get more debris in impact areas without the need for further adjustments, which enhances the quality of the Fracture Solver. With new limited behavior for cracks, you can now control the distance of detached fragments that move by making them stick on the surface. When it comes to exporting, you can now experience a bunch of new options. You can export the distractions to FBX and import them seamlessly in other platforms. And you can also experience custom Olympic exporter, which combines all the nodes in a single Olympic mesh. Additionally, some cool UI improvements came with this release. Pull down 8 has now the ability to reverse cracker direction by clicking on the panel, plus creating and modifying fracture clusters, which is now almost an instant operation. Moreover, it improved visualization in stresses view. When in stresses view, all fragments are now displayed in a solid color, despite having materials. Stresses view break at frame clusters are now represented in green color to make clusters break at distinguishable frames. There are a lot of other features that we didn't mention here, so you can take a look at the Annals page if you are interested. I hope you found this useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.